Who is the best quarterback in the NFL? I'm back with another tier list. Let me go through the tiers real freaking quick, bro. We got elite MVP level quarterbacks. Handful of those. Franchise quarterbacks. Elite quarterbacks. Just not MVP type. We got solid starters, you know, like, you know, they better than what they could have. Then we got not good, but, you know, not ass. And then we got, oh, my God, he's ass ass. I know y'all seen uh, the LaShawn McCoy. Dak, yeah, he ass ass. Dak might just end up on that list. We'll see, but stay tuned. First up, we got Rookie of the Year candidate, Jaden Daniels. I'm going to be honest, bro. He's playing like a great quarterback right now. And if I would have top five in the MVP, Jaden Daniels is in that top five. He's an elite MVP level quarterback right now. Right now. This video is right now. This isn't, you know, what is it? It's right now. You know, there's a long season left to go. We're only in week six, bro. We're just rating quarterbacks after six weeks in the NFL. Um... You know, so there might be some people in places that they shouldn't be because we know what they could do. But through six weeks, this is what I'm saying. Justin Fields. Justin Fields is looking like a solid starter, bro. This potentially could be franchise QB. Um, but I don't know, bro. He's got a great defense. I feel like they should be winning some more games. They got a couple of losses that I don't think the games they should have lost. They shouldn't have lost to the Cowboys at all. Um, if Justin Fields makes some more plays in that game, I think that, uh, I think that they do a lot better. Joe Burrow. That's an elite MVP level type of quarterback right now. I think he leads in touchdown passes. He might lead in yards. Um, rough game against the Giants. But, bro, he's playing better than a lot of y'all favorite quarterbacks, if I'm going to be honest. Tua. Tua, when healthy, is a franchise quarterback. Um, yes, I know what I just said in the beginning. But based off what we've seen from Tua, we know what he can do. And, yeah, he has Tyreek and Jalen Waddle, um, But he has the ability... You know, make a lot of good plays, and he's an accurate thrower of the ball. If he's just not getting hit and, you know, getting these concussions and, you know, scaring everybody to hell when he gets hit, he would be okay. Um, Justin Herbert, if he had some weapons around him, he'd be elite MVP level. But I'm going to go franchise QB because I think Justin Herbert is a great quarterback. Um, he's winning games with a very mid-roster. I think they're 3-2 and two right now. I think they're 3-2 and because they just had a bye week. So he's playing well. Um, Jordan Love. If Jordan Love, my brother, didn't throw two, three picks a game, he's elite MVP level. But he might lead the league in, MV in picks right now. Maybe Will Levis. But um, he's a great quarterback, franchise level. I wouldn't have him in my top, you know, four or five MVP quarterbacks right now. But that boy's a dog. Jalen Hurts, another one, Turn the ball too, uh, turns the ball over too much. We saw him in the Super Bowl. If Eagles fans can see Jalen Hurts' Super Bowl for the rest of the season... Might be the best quarterback in the league, man, because he outplayed the best quarterback in the best game of the, of the year. Um, but for this list, I got to put him in franchise QB. No turnover his last game. Um, that's a step up. And after those first two drives, he was he was actually throwing some dimes. Kyler, cards suck, but that brother's a franchise quarterback for sure. I think there's probably, there's probably 22 to 25 teams in the NFL that would take Kyler as their number one quarterback over whoever they have right now. Um, almost positive. Daniel Jones. At the start of the year, I would have put that brother right here. But if I'm going to be honest, bro, I haven't seen Daniel Jones turn the ball over very much, and I think he's a solid starter so far. Um, he hasn't had Malik Neighbors the last two weeks, and he's been in two very close games. They're one and one. So I'm looking at him, and I'm like, their defense is solid, and he's playing well. If he doesn't turn the ball over, they can win some games. Now, Baker Mayfield, this is a tough one. Because Baker might be playing at an MVP level which is crazy. And it's like, how do I not put him in that conversation? But he threw three picks last week. So if you throw three picks in a game, I can't put you MVP level. Um, you can go franchise QB though, because you're having a great season. You got the Bucks at four and two. Um, they're looking really good. Sam Darnold. Now this is a tough one because he's five and oh, he hasn't lost a game and he's playing good football. But He's just looking like a franchise QB. Like, I really want to put him here because he hasn't done anything crazy in the last two games, two, three games. Um, but for the sake of it, you know, we're talking about how good they played this season. I'll give him franchise QB. Um, Drake May, he's young. He's not good, but he's not ass. Um, he's just young. <laughs> it's literally how you put it. He's not good. He's not ass. He's just young. He had a decent game. Like, he threw for over 200 yards and he had two touchdowns. Um, he's running the ball. He's an athletic quarterback. He's just on a terrible team in a terrible situation. 
So, you know, if they can put some pieces around him, he might have a chance. Um, Josh Allen. <clears throat> he's an MVP level quarterback, but he's not playing like one yet. Like, I just ain't seen it out of him yet, you know? Uh, Josh Allen's one of the best quarterbacks in the league, but I'm just not seeing it yet. Like, he just got this win against the Jets, but he didn't look all that great. He didn't make a crazy pass, um, but he's also missing weapons, and, you know, his team's, what, 4-2, and two, I think? 4-2 and two with, you know, no weapons. His best receiver is Khalil Shakir. He wouldn't be on, he wouldn't be a wide receiver 3 on a lot of teams, uh, let alone a wide receiver 2. So, shout-out to him doing more with less. I know James Cook tonight. So shout out him. But here's the best quarterback in the league right now. The best quarterback in the league right now. Let's put him first. Lamar Jackson, bro. Lamar looks like a better thrower than I've seen him in his career. Like, he kind of simplified everything. He's not running around back there trying to make the play. Like, he's making the right reads, and he's throwing to the right people on the right time. Like, he's doing a very good job at distributing the ball. And then he has Derrick Henry in the backfield. Him and Derrick Henry running the freaking ball is unstoppable, bro. Um, like if their defense can hold teams to under 23 points, I don't know who's going to beat them, bro. Like their first two games, they choked against the Raiders and then against, uh, the Chiefs, they could have won that, but it's week one. Um, so we don't know. This right here is going to be the most craziest take of the day. We got to throw my homes right here, right now, bro. I'll put them in first just so you guys feel better about it. But Mahomes got to be franchise, bro. It's 636 picks. Like, if that was Dak, bro, he would not be your front runner, even if the Cowboys were 5-0. and Yes, I get that they're 5-0. and um, They're playing well. But, like, bro, he should not be in the leading for MVP. I think only three quarterbacks are making elite MVP level on this list. Like, I think these are the final three. Um, and if there would be a next two, I'm thinking, like, Mahomes... Stroud, like those are probably the next two. Jordan Love and Jalen Hurts are also in there, and I mean, also in Josh Allen. I mean, not hate on Josh Allen, he should be up here too. But that's how it's looking. Deshaun Watson, okay, let me talk about it though. Let me talk about it, bro. Those massages, those took away his powers, but we can get to that later. Um, Deshaun, like, I watch their games and they lead the league in the most drops. Um, they have one of the worst offensive lines in the league right now. Um, they give up the most sacks. So, like, is that all Deshaun's fault? No. But the fact that he's the quarterback of that team just makes it look even worse. And it's Deshaun. So he belongs in, oh, my God, he's ass-ass. Yeah, uh, he's cooked. Um, I'm not going to lie. I forgot about Jared Goff. Jared Goff makes it to elite MVP level. Um, he has a stacked team, yeah. But if he doesn't turn the ball over and he gets the ball in his playmakers, that run game, that just makes him an even better quarterback if he has a good run game and he's got good receivers, bro. Tim Patrick looks like one of the best wide receiver threes in the NFL. Uh, so I got to show Jared Goff some love. Um, Dak, this season, yeah, he's not good, but he's not ass. Um, I'll put Dak right in there. He's He stinks. He stinks. Derek Carr, oh, yeah, he's ass ass. <laughs> he had two good games to start off the season. Now he's lost four in a row. Um, Geno Smith lost three straight games, ass, ass. Kirk Cousins, I think Kirk Cousins franchise QB. Um, he's got the Falcons at four and two. You know how I felt about the Falcons coming into the season for the people that watch my TikToks. So, you know, I was glazing the Falcons a little, no cap. Andy Dalton, a solid starter. Like, he's on a terrible team and he's making it work. Bo Nix, that's a solid starter, bro. Bo Nix is playing well, bro. Like, he's getting comfortable playing football. Uh, Matthew Stafford, when he has his weapons, that boy is nice. When he has his weapons, they're nice. Uh, Aaron Rodgers, he had a good game tonight. Had a good game tonight, but I need to see another good game before I get you out of solid starter. Because you look like an old man so far this season. But tonight, you did have a good game uh, against the Bills. But it wasn't enough. It wasn't enough. CJ Stroud, I got to put you in the top three up here just because. This isn't the order. If y'all want to see the real order, it looks some more like this and I throw two of like right here and then the rest of these got Matthew Stavers probably like right here but I don't know whatever um don't pay too much into the order just know that the top four guys are the top four guys um Anthony Richardson he's not good but he's not ass Joe Flacco is probably elite MVP level if I'm gonna be honest now Will Levis that brother's ass ass no cap that brother's ass ass Aiden O'Connell I don't know I didn't even watch their game but since they got blitzed by the Steelers, he's ass-ass. Brock Purdy. 
Um, what are they? Three and three. What are the Niners are what three and three or three and two? I think they're three and three. I'm gonna go Brock. Is he's franchise QB? He doesn't have his. He doesn't have arguably the best player in the league. So I see how his numbers are probably down. But you know Brock is good, bro. There's no need to hate on Brock. Um, Trevor Lawrence, he's not good, but he's not ass. I'm not giving him the ass yet, bro. Because he's like got bad numbers, but I still have faith. And last but not least, we got Caleb Williams. He's definitely a franchise quarterback. Um, I think the Bears struck gold with him. Um, he's looking like he's finally playing well. Even if he does paint his nails, he can still throw the hell out that football. Um, if he limits his turnovers, he's going to be a great quarterback in the NFL. But, yeah, that does it, bro. Um, this is my NFL quarterback list. We got a few ass-ass quarterbacks. We got a few not good, but ass. You feel me? Um, so, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments what you guys want to see next. Let me know y'all ranking of the quarterbacks, and we're going we gonna to keep pushing out content every day, bro. Um, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'm going to see y'all next week in the next videos. Peace out.